Hello, wonderful humans of Earth. I am Brainwave, also known as Jimmy Trip, and I am making, I mean, not really so much of a like tutorial video for music production, but maybe more of like a demonstration video, I guess. I, I guess I guess that's what you could call it. I don't know. But uh basically, uh I'll get right to the point. I wanted to make a way to dial in quicker drum tones like quicker drum tones for kicks and snares especially like get the transient exactly how i want it get the low end and the high end right where i want it and just basically have a quicker utility tool in order to get that to happen uh sooner rather than later and that way i don't spend nearly as much time on sound design or or i guess on the trying to tweak to my heart's content to get something to sound just how I want it to sound and get that exact tone. Uh, and I can get kind of quicker to the, to the melodic process or actually like making the sounds and like, like the chords and stuff and like the, you know, like all the you know, bassy, bassy, wobbly, whoop, whoop, you know, stuff like that. Whoa! So here we have uh, this channel with the kick drum and here we have the playlist and in the playlist of fl studio here we have a kick sample so without this patcher utility on this is what it sounds like i mean it's already like an all right sample on it on its own like this kick drum sample sounds all right you know but i thought to myself i think it could use more punch uh it could be a little brighter the low end could probably be compressed um, and it could have a little bit more transient coming through. Uh, it's just the way I, I like to hear it, I guess, in my head. Um, and, you know, there's no right or wrong with uh, music production. There's only little guidelines that kind of help you along the way. Uh, but it's all about experimentation. It's all about, you know, experimenting to get the sound that you want to you want to get so that's on its own this is after i apply the patcher patch i made so you might be wondering you know how did i get it to actually sound like that well so in this patcher patch i have here i call it drum tone modifier it consists of quite a few plugins uh, the plugins that are actually used for this are Fruity Balance, and Fruity Balance is just being used to get the signal to come in, like that input coming in. And that goes directly into an instance of Cyclone, which is a plugin by SoundSpot. And all I'm using Cy Cyclone for is the parallel compression, and I have a very, very low... Or, like crazy threshold and ratio going on like 20 over zero, you know, or 0 0.1, whatever. Uh, and I have a very, very fast attack, like eight milliseconds. And then uh, also a fast release at about 22 milliseconds. And that gets the attack. So the attack for the transient is right here in this parallel compression for attack knob. And so then that goes directly into an instance of Shep's Parallel Particles, which is a fantastic, fantastic plugin, by the way. It's got an air, a bite, a sub, and a thickness knob. And believe you me, this, this plugin is monstrous in and of itself by itself. Like even before adding anything else, like it's, it's incredible. Like I can't imagine just, how many complex chains like actual mixing chains it would have taken to replicate that plugin like it's insane and so that's for these four knobs right here the air knob the the bite knob the sub knob and the thickness knob uh, it's just a direct copy of that plugin's layout um and so then that's going into this uh audio audiority Polycomp plugin. Polycomp is an incredible multiband compressor. Uh, at least it's probably my favorite multiband compressor I've used to date. Like in terms of tone and sound that you get out of it. Like I love this multiband compressor. Uh, second, probably being like multi pass by kilohertz for for favorites of mine. But but this plugin just just 
beats that by a little bit for me. I, I just love the tone you get out of it. So Audio Rarities, Polycomp, there's two instances of that. This one's for low and this one's for high, the high end. So these are both uh, running in parallel. It's parallel compression. And the parallel instances are going to this low compression parallel here, this knob, and then this high compression parallel in this on this knob. So high end, low end to compress those. Uh, and then that's going into an instance of smack attack by waves. And smack attack, let me just say, is probably my new favorite. And I say favorite. I don't say that lightly i say that like very very meaningfully here like truthfully this plugin smack attack by waves uh i think the intro price was like 29 dollars. i got it when it was 29 dollars. i don't know if it's still 29 dollars. waves has a lot of sales going on constantly and they're very good sales um but this plugin's incredible for any kind of transient control, getting that attack, getting that sustain, no matter what you're wanting it for. It's it's great for that. Incredible. Um, I use this on kicks and snares now. Like I've been using this plugin for probably like six months now, and I absolutely love it. I I can't imagine not having it now because it's so good. Um, and there's a lot of flexibility and control you can have in here. But I I just have the attack at 30, and then I, I'm using the dry wet knob. So again, this is running in parallel too. And that goes to this knob right here, which is what I call the more transient knob, just transient one, you know. And so then that goes back into another transient plugin, which is Transpire by Sonic Anomaly. And this plugin is free. This is free to download and free to use. It's an incredible plugin. This is by far my favorite transient processor plugin for free that you can get just you know free uh and so the attack and sustain uh right here for so like the attack from that plugin more transient to this knob right here is is for that and then the sustain from that plugin is going into this sustain knob here and so that's all going back into infected mushrooms pusher plugin and this plugin here is rightfully just bonkers. It's insane. It's going back into a clipper right here. Uh, not much else is happening. The high knob, I want to say, from this plugin is also going into the same air knob that the air from Shep's particles is going into, or parallel particles, sorry. Um, and so anyway, then we have this separate little section here where it's a reverb send. And I have this reverb plugin that's H reverb by waves. And it's incredible. Like, I mean, this is an incredible reverb. If, if you want a little bit more width on your kicks or snares, especially uh, just set a very like small, you know, like, like small size. Uh, and then I got it at about 0.10 milliseconds. It's very, very short. Uh, and that's all the way wet. That's an all the way wet reverb signal. And um, I have this output knob here, which is going back into this reverb output here. And then I just have one instance of F6 by Waves, which is an incredible mid side EQ. I have that going afterwards to kind of roll off just any like lows and also a bit of the mids of, of that reverb signal. And it just kind of cleans it up a little bit and makes it sound a little cleaner. And, and so that goes back into Infected Mushroom's uh, pusher plugin as well. So that is all the plugins that it took to make this chain. And I guess I can show you it in action now. So this is without again. And this is with. And so while it's on, I'm going to just show you what you can kind of do with it. It's like, Just very subtle changes. But it all together, it just adds up to make a wacky sound. Listen to that thickness knob. Like again, what I was saying about Shep's parallel particles, it's it's nuts. And that sub, oh good lord, that's a boomy sub. That 
that reverb. Yeah, you got to be careful with the reverb. The transients. See how big of a difference that reverb makes? That's that's kind of crazy. It's adding all that width to the kick. And that sustain knob. Compress the low end. And it's incredible how much of this is running in parallel. So much of this is parallel. Like parallel New York style, like mid or uh like dry wet blending uh compression or you know saturating and stuff like that so i mean it, yeah that that's the plugin or i mean not the plugin that's the patcher patch uh so anyway uh, i hope you guys uh, got something out of this video and i hope that it was interesting um i would like to make more videos like this as well as tutorials i would very much like to make tutorials i've been wanting to make tutorials for several several years now and just never had the energy to get around to doing it but now i'm actually finally kicking myself in the butt and motivating myself to do it so yeah um that's that's the patch <laughs> i mean uh it's it's all experimentation. Everything is about experimentation. And the more you experiment, the more you can get just really interesting, weird, crazy results that, you know, you you never knew you could get. So, yeah. Uh with that, peace and uh see you in the next video.